Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're gonna to just do a quick video on the new suspension problem that I talked about in my last video. And basically what happened was when I was off-road going from Aravaca down to Pina Blanca Lake, I had four instances of a very loud, distinct, um, kind of a, almost a metal on metal noise in my left front shock tower region. And uh, the car doesn't pull, there's not a consistent rattle, there's nothing that would indicate um, any kind of problem at all other than when the noise happens. And it is not, it has never happened uh, on pavement, it's always been off-road. So what I'm going to do today is I have, when I did that video I actually caught the noise on two separate occasions and I'm going to play those sound files for you um, so you can hear what I'm talking about. After that trip, the very next day I took the car into Subaru. They had it for four days. It was driven by three different people. I even went down there and drove the car with my buddy Trent on this kind of dirt area to try to get the noise to happen again, but we couldn't get it to repeat. They checked, uh, they put the car up on the lift. They checked everything out underneath. There was no obvious anything loose, damaged, um, bent, etc. It's really bizarre. And as, as you'll see in the the short clips that I have of the noise, the road was actually not even, uh, there was nothing in the road that I hit that I went over other than very slight bumps in the road. And then the other clip is when I was on washboard road. After I picked the car up on Monday, I drove back down to the same exact road and that's when I filmed the Ruby uh, flyover. And the uh, noise actually happened six times that day um, three or four times on washboard the other times were on roads again that were kind of like out of the blue um, one time it actually hit and then about 10 or 15 yards down the road it hit again um, I didn't catch any of these on audio other than my voice recorder on my phone it just doesn't sound it's not very distinct you can't really hear it, it it's really kind of an interesting phenomenon I don't really know what's going on at this point um, I have an appointment to go back to Subaru next Monday, and they're actually going to just disassemble everything and see if they can find something. So kind of interesting. Anyway, let's check out those sound files. And if you guys um, have heard anything like this on your cars or you experienced anything like this or you have suggestions, please let me know. To me, it sounds like it's the shock bottoming out. Um, and. I'm not really sure why it's doing that. I don't know if something's broken inside, if something's loose that I just can't, that can't be seen from the outside. So let's get to the sound clips and uh, see what everyone thinks. Okay, so here we are on the road from Aravaca to Pina Blanca Lake. Take a look at the surface of the road. I zoomed way in on the GoPro video so you'd get an idea that the road is basically very clean. It's not a difficult road whatsoever. And there was actually a minivan on this road that day. So we're cruising along and this first noise you're going to hear is just the single addition and it happens really quick but it's very loud, very distinct and actually so loud that it really startled me <laughs> in the driver's seat. I mean I was like wow what the heck was that and I honestly thought that something was broken. That's how loud it was. So it's coming up here in just a second. So again take a look at the road and here we go. So that was it. So very very loud so let me play that for you again and here it is in slow-mo okay so that's the first time I caught it on uh, the video so this next time is actually a little bit different it actually happens two times quickly in succession and I the difference is the road is actually a washboard section of the road. It wasn't really deep, but it was definitely washboardy, which you can kind of see here. So take a look again. It's almost like the shock gets overwhelmed or something. And we'll do it in slow-mo as well. All right, so those were the two examples I caught on video. So if you guys have any suggestions as to what you think that noise might be, that would be awesome. I'd love to hear it in the comments. Um, when I went back down there after picking up the car this week and I did the Ruby flying, um, 
like I mentioned earlier, there were six episodes that happened. I think three or four of them were washboard type episodes. And then the other two were kind of one right after each other, but about 10 to 15 yards apart on the road. And um, unfortunately, I didn't capture any of those on video because I didn't have my camera with me. I tried to use my uh, iPhone vo uh, voice recorder app, but it just wasn't really clear. And this is the best example. Um, these two videos are the best example I, had, I have of the noise itself. So the car, like I said, is going back in on Monday and they're going to take everything apart and I will let you know what they find. At this point, to me, it seems like the spring is working, but at certain times the shock is being over or the shock is being overwhelmed or something's loose. So that's when it's bottoming out because I've never experienced this noise before um, the other day. And like I said, it doesn't do anything on the road that would indicate there's any kind of a problem um, in the way it feels, sounds, drives, anything. So it just has to do with um, being off road for whatever reason. And as you saw, this was not uh, a very difficult road. So anyway, that's kind of my update for now. If you guys have any suggestions, please, please leave those below and I will update you as soon as I know something, um, if they find a cause or whatever. But Thanks as always for watching and we will see you next time.